So as you may currently all know, we have discovered a bunch of title books in Moldeman, which is really old news at this point. However, interestingly enough, what was quite overlooked is that a completely new zone was mentioned in one of these findings, a zone called Avaloran and the home to the apparently heretics rebel titan forged. There is a similarity to the name of the Scarlet Crusader stronghold New Avalon, there is a possibility that this could be a new continent, an underground zone, an island or even even a future expansion concept. So what even is Avaloran and what do we know so far? If you're looking for cheap games at amazing prices, check out this video sponsor, Gamevo. You can get everything from games to software, gift cards, and even get World of Warcraft game time and Dragonflight. You can get an even bigger discount with my code Doron, so make sure to click the link in the description below. I'd like to start off immediately with the actual evidence and once again, check out my previous video library as I've covered this in great detail a million times, I have like 10 videos, so I'm not going to repeat myself again, but let's put things simply in the relevant context to this video. All the money is in the pre-patch, there we found a bunch of titan documents, books, communications between the keepers, and we started learning that the titans may have a bit of a darker side than we used to previously believe. They can turn dragons to their side by crafting the water source, they deleted and edited history, and they purposefully got us to never think of the first ones as the true progenitors and instead painted the titans as the actual gods and the creators of everything. So overall, there is definitely quite a bit of fanaticism involved with the titans and they definitely have their own agenda that we don't really know anything about. However, what is relevant to the topic of this video is a document that is called a Wreckage Analysis Report, which further really unravels all this information. Essentially, it is a report from a watcher to the Prime Designate, the main Titan Keeper, and that is in regards to an expedition. As we can learn from previous documents, the Titan Forge, the actual workforce, are not exactly equals. The Keepers see them as mainly the workforce, which is kind of obvious since they're quite akin to robots that were created by them with an actual forge. However, However, they had noticed that the Titan Forged over time started getting free thoughts and free will, which they didn't really seem to like this idea. Now, there is one side of the story, but now we jump essentially to the conclusion with this analysis report. Essentially, there is a group of rebellious Titan Forged that have defied the Keepers. We don't really know the details, but with what was written, we can only kind of assume what is going on. It seems highly likely these guys want to be independent and no longer the minions of the Titan and they are actively fighting their creators. Furthermore, and even more importantly, they are more than likely denying the narrative that the Titan Keepers had created for them, that is, in regards to who created the universe, who are the true gods of the cosmos. For this reason, these guys that right now we're only really going to call guys, since we actually have no idea who they are, are called heretics by the Titan Keeper forces. As you may know, a heretic is generally someone that strays away from the accepted dogma so in the eyes of the titan keepers these guys are just committing blasphemy which is almost certainly somehow related to the fact that the keepers are hiding the existence of the first ones and definitely over exaggerating the importance of the titans it is more than likely that they see the titans as gods and these heretics don't really see it that way why i think they are independent is because they seem to have called themselves up in a place somewhere that is called Avaloran that right now we have no clues on what this could be or we don't really have many clues but we definitely do have some. What could be even more interesting is that these three expeditions were sent to completely eradicate them and all of them failed meaning that these heretics are actually quite successful and they're mounting quite a defense against the keepers. Furthermore the titan watcher calls this a cursed place which could be a hint what this zone could be although let's be real more than likely she's calling it a curse because they keep sending failed expeditions so damn do i hate this place because we keep failing here but combining all this information is currently available let us see what this of Lauren could be as there are definitely some hints and speculations that are going on around the community so one of the popular theories that i personally think is highly unlikely is that this is related to the scarlet crusade i mean it makes sense why people are connecting this because there is a fortress of the scarlet crusade there's called New Avalon in the Eastern Plaguelands, which sounds almost exactly the same as Avaloran. Furthermore, it is close to Tyr's Hand and Tyr's Bay, 
Tyr used to be a Titan Keeper, so there is even that naming connection. And furthermore, there have been some on and off hints around this area that we can connect, like how this Hard Crusade could be relevant. However, why I think it is unlikely is that there is nothing really that connects the Scarlet Crusade and the Titans. Like, this stuff happened way, way before the Sundering, and the Scarlet Crusade was literally created like a decade ago, a bit more than that, so maybe the only connection there could be the geographical term that the Scarlet Crusade may have picked up on, but I really doubt there is anything deeper at this point. Now, in my opinion, what is a more relevant hint is one of the other books in Oldman that talks about how the Earth and all had individual and very individual consequences to the Curse of Flesh. One of them became the dwarves that are currently playable, but another group, isolated on once again some unknown land, created almost the exact same language and culture despite never being in contact with the dwarves that we know. It is likely that these guys could be somewhere close to Avaloran, or maybe these two writings or reports are from different time periods. So originally they called them the Stray Earthen, then they tried to get them back, but when war broke out, the tone became a lot more dismissive and they right now just go by the name of heretics. Furthermore, an even more important bit is that a few months ago, we data mined this map called Underground Keep Hidden until 10.1, which is the first patch of Dragonflight. Seeing that the Earthen dug underground, most of the Titan facilities were somewhere underground. It could be possible that this Avaloran thing could be some sort of an underground zone somewhere maybe on the Dragon Isles. Keep in mind, they never specified what this zone actually is. So this this could literally be the first patch content of the expansion, it could be one of the digging sites, or this may have been a crew that was creating a titan facility that now turned the site into their new home. Additionally, as many people have speculated, this could be an excellent hint that Blizzard is doing some really long term writing, and these could be very early breadcrumbs that could lead us into a new storyline that could happen later, much later down the line, maybe without any further hints at Dragonflight. For example, they did previously hint at the existence of the Dragon Isles as far as BFA and even before that, but only now did we learn about them. So maybe this Avaloran could be a brand new continent or maybe found on the other side of Azeroth. You know, that age old speculation that could eventually maybe turn out to be real. I mean, there was the same with the Dragon Isles and they turned out to be a thing. It could generally be a whole new continent and this could be realistic. Keep in mind, these heretics are Titan Forged. Some of the Titan Forged, such as the Bright or the Earthen literally created entire civilizations such as the humans that span across the entire continent. Imagine if one of their cousins went to a continent of their own many thousands of years ago. We could literally have a brand new civilization that is not connected to us in any way or it is connected to anything else that we know of. Furthermore, they would have the best evidence and the best justification on why this continent was hidden from us. These heretics were fighting the strongest beings on Azeroth, the Titan Keepers and their minions at the time. So so they may have had to go really crazy to think of a really good cloaking mechanisms so that these expeditions can't actually reach them. So it could entirely go this route that they had hid themselves in order to avoid persecution and seeing that the Titan Keepers kind of fell apart, they may have had a really long time to build something up and this could be a super advanced civilization. Additionally, outside of a continent, even more realistically, this could be a small zone that could be a patch in Dragonflight, so some sort of an island close to the Dragon Isles that we might discover and it would be quite quite similar to Mechagon for example, nearly a copy of it, and that would really be a gold mine to learn the true nature of the titans from other sources that are these heretics, you know, they're their sworn enemies that have fought them pretty much since the start, so they're definitely gonna have some things to say about the titans that are not exactly nice. It could be a really interesting twist, so personally I would love to see this new patch zone or even an expansion that could be based around Avaloran, and it could be incredibly fun. Thank you for watching, check out what the third year wow means by clicking on the screen and check out the academy for videos of real world history. See you next time.